Please press the subscribe button, tap on the bell icon, and never miss an update from Fashion Speaks. Hey, what's happening, guys? PG is here today. Gonna show you how can you change your calling interface this time. As in my previous video, I will show you how you change your dialer. I hope that you like that one. So this time. I'm back with my another video that is I will show you how can you change your calling interface we just play with codes and uh, you will able to make your own calling interface or if you understand my code you will make your calling interface from this to this if you do a lot of hard work and make it professional then you will also make it like this so I'm going to be very quick this time so let's start So here we are guys I already uh, decompiled my dialer you can easily find in the system private app folder of your room just find go to rest layout and find these layouts button fragment card content and last is our primary info call just open it with notepad plus plus but first we see why we need this layout to understand this we need to look at this so here this is our calling interface so here this is our call fragment this is our primary call info and that's cover our call card so when you open all the layouts in your notepad plus plus you can also open uh, your drawable folder in the another tab also open your dimensions your color sort xml and uh, the style make sure you have a six layouts open in your three four colors and three layouts in our notepad plus plus first we are going to start with color button fragment so color button fragment what is this so color button fragment is the layout of our buttons on our calling interface so as you see in the bottom this is our calling button fragment so what if we change the layout change it to horizontal from vertical and look like this next we need to add a background if you add a background here it will only change the this blue color into any background you want so you have, if you want the blur just add the blur image in a blur png in your drawable hty with name blur or you can use any name or you can make it transparent by adding eight zeros that is the transparent code color code so here we have 11 image buttons if you see there is the android visibility gone you will find in some buttons so as you see we only have three buttons in the lighter and two buttons are not properly visible to make it as we have 11 buttons it will only show us 5 or 6 buttons to make all the buttons visible on your calling interface change the android visibility to android invisible to visible or gone to visible or you can also set it to none whatever you want or you can remove this line this code next we have a call called content card content is our I have already showing you what is the card content so our content we need to add the background or you can need to clear the background from the button fragment so what it's gonna do when you add a background here it will cover the button fragment part also but if you add background background in the button fragment as well as the card content then the background get mixed up and it will show you a big big black divider between them so to remove the divider you need to remove the background from the button fragment and add a background blur or a transparent in your uh, card content here next we have to find the id photo id photo is the id when someone calling you or you calling someone with the photo with the show in the bottom that if you want to remove the image just remove the 
the whole line but if you want to change the background just add the background here again transparent so our this background get full transparent the first we use the blur background it will cover all the part till the call end button next we move to the color xml here to change your status bar you need to make it again transparent so our your blur photo get the content from the status bar next we have to add a dimensions so here you have to add uh, increase the dimension padding so it will increase the button size layout so if you need a big buttons but you ha also have to add the drawable image with the big buttons make sure the image should be in the png format the jpg format are not used in the while we are doing the coding stuff so here we have the 11 buttons like i am going to select my dial pad button so if you want to increase the size of your dial pad button i need to add the code that is android padding and make it to 25 dip or 20 or 15 dip whatever you want so what we got we did so this is our a sample layout the all the code we did in the previous next we have to uh, find the dimension it is button cluster horizontal padding padding is the space between all the buttons you can increase it and decrease it whatever you want so it will increase or decrease the space between the single button you can add the padding whatever you want but make sure your visibility should be gone there is no visibility next we move to the style here style you have to find only two styles that are connected with each other you will uh, find it at the bottom that is in call button and in call compound button so in call button is when the person uh, picked up your call and you are start uh, having conversation with them so you need so we need a background transparent background so we need to change the background you can also change the dimensions in call button so it will change the size of your button whatever you want You can play with the dimensions, you can play with the, the style, you can add custom layouts, you can add a custom like custom backgrounds or whatever. So this is it guys, hope you understand. Make sure you add a drawable here at the PNG. So this is it guys, thanks for watching guys, see you next week.